Hi, I'm talking right now to Leah from Brazil, Discover Brazil Portugal magazine, okay? And uh, she's asked me a few questions about growing apples. Well, Canada has a population of 30, almost 36 million. We make up 0.5 or 1% of the world population. We grow 0.6% of the world apple production. They grow apples everywhere, all over the world. Okay. Uh, this area, east of Toronto, is probably one of the, one of the better growing areas. We have beautiful soil. We have a nice, uh, nice climate. We have Lake Ontario to act as a moderating influence. And the closer you are to Lake Ontario, the better that influence of warming temperatures in the wintertime and cooling in the summertime, the lake effect. The soil is probably some of the best soil in the world. Okay, heavy clay loam. It doesn't really need irrigation. You got a tile drain it, and that's pretty well it. Um, I would think there's a great potential for people to grow apples if they, if they put the right varieties in. Okay, Honeycrisp, Galas, Ambrosia, and some other ones. Okay. How many years uh, your company is, is here in the market? Okay, since 1968. Okay. 1968, and since then there's there's been a change of families. So do you export? Do we? Do, do, do you do any export? Exporting. We have in the past over to New York State, especially when we had a 63 cent exchange rate. But since then, uh, New York State produces a lot of apples, and uh, New York would like to put apples into the Toronto area. All right. This is this is probably the, I'd say the fifth biggest market in North America outside of Mexico, north of the Rio Grande, New York. Los Angeles, Chicago, I think it's Philadelphia, but uh, we, we were right up there. That's the, the golden horseshoe, okay? Ontario is about 14 million people or more, and there's probably seven or eight in this area, okay? We, we have a lot of new Canadians coming in, and they like a sweeter apple, a lot of Asian people. That's where the gala comes in, the gala apple. I don't know what else I can add to it, but it's, it's nice to have people. Do you from have any questions specific for him? No, you said you were sending uh, apples to Cuba. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it, we send the, the lesser grade in terms of color and maybe size. Okay. Okay. And uh, the Cubans are happy to get them. Okay. We've been the. How Cuba. long have you been doing this? Uh, this was the first year. Okay. The first year. First yes. year to Cuba. Uh, uh, because what I hear is that Cuba wants to definitely increase trade oh, yes. with Canada. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And and actually the the, the Cuban uh, consulate in Toronto, they are he is open to um, to talk to Canadian companies I, I've been, about supplying Cuba. Yeah, there's. <clears throat> I've been to a Cuban uh, visitation on a trade mission, and there were people uh, from Alberta with livestock. There were people from other parts of Canada, and uh, at the time uh, we didn't do anything, but now we are doing something and we're happy to be doing it, okay? Because we realize that Cuba is, is 10 million people. Oh a good, yes, a good market. it's a big market. And good, they big need, uh... But now when the relationship warms up between the United States and Cuba,